Hello everyone, today I wanted to make a video, but this time there's no solution to the problem. Well, it's just that the solution won't work for everyone. So, maybe you come here as yet another user of a bricked Xiaomi device. In my case it was my mom's uh, Xiaomi 13 Lite. That had an update that bricked the phone. As far as I know, it's a system app uh, update that installed automatically that bricks your phone uh, and you can't do nothing to unbrick it. So today I want to discuss a couple of things. First, it would be the Xiaomi support and the lack of help. It's funny because uh, I called Xiaomi support Spain and for some reason he told me that <laughs> Xiaomi would fix uh, this boot looping issue with some over the air update that would install using <laughs> your phone's IMEI you know the code that allows your phone to use mobile da data so or mobile networks at all so that was a lie you can't just push updates uh, using like <laughs> your mobile network uh, as far as I know, it's only possible to do wireless emergencies notifications because it's an integrated app in your phone. But even after, even for that, as far as I know, you need to have your phone unlocked. This support agent told me that it would update automatically after a restart uh, but how it would uh, even update if the system won't load because if you, you can see that it kind of starts loading but if you have a look actually your mobile data won't work until uh, you reach the lock screen and in, even in some times, some phones, uh, your mobile data won't work until you unlock the phone. Uh, especially if you have a pin on the SIM card. Uh, so I'm not sure what was what was that uh, support agent talking about a wireless update over IMEI. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, also, I'm... How does this happen? How are you so... How do you... You are a biggest company that makes phones and you push some update that, if I'm not wrong, uh, the system apps um, updates are installed automatically by default from the factory your phone has the install updates automatically option checked so it's a intended way of working and in this um, automatic updates you push an update that could break your phone and also what makes me mad is that the usual MIUI recovery do doesn't have any option for mounting storage. Like you have this connect with me assistant button that won't work. Like I installed the app, I can show you. So here I have the phone, let's boot to recovery again. Then let's click on connect with me assistant and connect the cable you can see that the thingy like the cable here shows us connected but the 
me assistant up won't do nothing. It, it just doesn't work on some phones. Apparently it works on a working phone. So let me show you. So right now I connected my Poco F F3 with a Pixel OS. Let's see, connect to your phone. Okay, here. Charging, let's change it to file transfer. And it reads the phone correctly on another room. You can backup your data from another, it's not MIUI, it's Pixel OS. So, this app works on Pixel OS and it doesn't work on your own devices? Seriously? Also, this app is only in Chinese, but works in on global phones, so very strange. Here, you can see that it's Pixel OS, it's nothing, it has nothing to do with um, with MIUI and it still works so yeah what's the solution to the problem? wipe data that's the only solution right now I don't want to wipe it I'm gonna wipe it later in another video right now I will go to sleep but if you are in this situation uh, I'm pretty sure Xiaomi won't do nothing because like if the OS won't launch how are you going to update your phone I don't know what the hell was the support agent talking about um, if you are on MIUI 14 disable the system app updates on the automatic ones and also disable the system updates unless well the um, if you have the hyper os update then you should update because that's the intended os for that will work with these updated system apps so yeah here we are i guess what i'm going to do now well you know Xiaomi is not the only mobile phone producer, so I'm thinking on changing the um, my phone manufacturer because that's too low quality. It's like, how do you, how being uh, like the size of the company that is Xiaomi, you allow this things to happen, like raw updates that break phones, so yeah, I'm thinking on changing my phone, in a later video maybe I will talk about it, anyways, thank you for watching, see you next time.